join me? Hey guys, you might be wondering what is Steps to Podium doing in the middle of the snow? Well, it's quite simple. We're in Austria. And what's in Austria? KTM's HQ. The simple thing was that we were invited by WP Suspensions to spend a couple of days here and uh, essentially to learn a bit more about their suspensions. Uh, we're gonna have the chance to discuss and spend some time with their R&D department which is honestly amazing. Uh, I'll be able to actually discuss um, some uh, details with the people that actually do the suspensions. So can't have a better talk than having an engineer discussing engineering things, which is amazing. And uh, also to learn how to better take care and uh, handle the suspensions. Uh, all of this obviously to not only to become a better professional, but also to then giving you some 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 juice on it to you'll 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 see all about it on the next off-road engineered videos which i'll be stoked to to be doing on the next couple of months and so just really looking forward to these couple of days which honestly look tip top see you in a bit so first stop of our journey still a touristical bit but if you've never seen or you don't know this building behind me it's easy it's the KTM Auto Hall. It's essentially a place where you have the whole history of KTM. Join me. I'm going to share everything that I can with you and sit tight. The KTM Auto Hall opened in 2019 and it's a museum for the whole history of KTM. But not only that. On the first floor, you can check how a bike is made piece by piece from frame, engine, suspensions, every little bit. You also have access to a bunch of interactive boards that give you a thorough explanation of the several steps of making a bike. Let's explore. So in this part you have a, an interactive board that gives you a good understanding of how a bike is built from the first moment. Every bike starts with a design and then it's converted with, to a physical shape that can be worked on. And it's really interesting because it gives you this interactive model gives you all the small details that starts with the designer and then goes over to the engineering part and the testing part. So it's really interesting. So in this part you can see all the different frames that suit different kinds of bikes and it's really important to understand how all of these small changes on the frames and sometimes big changes affect the purpose of the bike. And if you really want to know the small details on how frames are, are made the way they do, I have a video just for that. So there, this is a really interesting uh, interactive guide where according to the specs that you insert on, the, on this chart, type of riding, what kind of terrain you're riding and your ability of, of riding will output some uh, suggestion of settings that you should have on your bike. It's really good to understand that there is no perfect setting for every terrain or for every type of riding. So it's something that KTM gives you from this guide and it's really insightful. 
So in here in these top three options you have mud, sand and uh, hard pack. Let's choose sand and ready to race driving style. Obviously being a bit uh, courageous from my part. And now it's really interesting because on this bike specifically they give you the low speed compression clickers on the shock, the high speed compression uh, adjustment, the rebound clickers and also on the air fork and the air pressure that you have to have. And furthermore, you can edit your setting and it shows you how you should do it and what kind of variables that you have to take into account to, to adjust your bike. So it's really interesting to understand that there is no perfect solution. It's always a compromise between type of terrain, riding style. It's a compromise. That's the definition of suspensions, but it's really cool. And here we have the EXE, which is KTM's uh, electric off-road model. And we have to get, give some credit to KTM because way before these new players are entering the market on the electric off-road uh, part, KTM is already making this bike for quite some time and uh, we have to give some credit to the innovation that they're bringing in. And it's really interesting to get such a thorough explanation on how these bikes are built, whether it's the batteries, the engines, or the ergonomics that go into making an electric bike and it's really interesting and maybe we're going to hear a lot more from these bikes in the near future since the transition is clearly going electric so let's see on the second floor you can see kind of a timeline of the company where you have all the different models and bikes the brand has been making since the foundation of the company and in the middle you have a really special room And now, let's move over to the special room, the Room of Champions. So what you just saw was pretty much an immersive experience in this room where it gathers all of the most relevant uh, and pretty much every KTM winner and champion that made KTM what it is today. And it's really interesting to see that from all of the champions, you hear their beliefs, their opinions, their way of life that make them become such, so successful. So it's quite motivational. After leaving the champions room, we are faced with KTM's latest off-road champions, right before heading into the adventure range. On the last floor, we have access to Motor Hall's workshop, as well as an area dedicated to the workshop of the future. How cool is this for a workplace? This is where they usually do the renovation and the restoration of some models that then go on to the exhibition, and it's an actual workplace. So just finished the motor hall experience and gotta say if you're a motorsport enthusiast this is a really nice place almost heaven because you really managed to understand everything that has been the history of KTM from 
their early developments until the recent or the most recent wins. So it's really, it's cool. It's a really cool place to, to understand how our, how our sport has progressed so far and uh, really recommend. Trying not to crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm not